Hi, it's me again. Um, welcome to part 8 of my vSphere project. Um, this is about uh, the VMware tools. Um, why do you need VMware tools? Um, it's because this is the main um, communication between ESX and the guest operating system. Without this, um, ESX will not be able to communicate with the ESX like reboot it, shut it down or or um, some other things. Um, but this is not the same as the I should have not explained this uh, the enterprise um, uh, product of VMware with the um, Heartbeat because um, Heartbeat is expensive. Um, uh, some other things like um, it's crucial on uh, distributed resources management because it's the one who uh, manage which server needs to go to this ESX or to that ESX or example on high availability if it needs to shut down the ESX or to boot up the ESX all those uh, guests needs to have the tools so in my example here on my ESX one I have two um, um, guests which is uh, a Linux and a Windows 2003 uh, the Red Hat I mean the li the Linux is uh, the VM for tools is not installed so if you click stop here or shut it down it will complain there's no tools on the on that VM but in here you can see it's uh, the VMware tools is okay and if I shut it down from here you can control it I mean the ESX will control it to shut it down as you can see here as well initiated uh, a guess or a shutdown and from the previous uh, video that I created this DB ser uh, server this is also a Windows uh, 2003 I just named it DB server and there's no purpose of the application yet um, this one has no um, VMware tool so if I click this one it will complain the only thing you can do is to um, force to shut it down is when you right click and power and when you power it off then it will force it's like in a physical server it's like pulling the the the, the power supply as you can see the windows 2003 is is down with a simple uh, stop command and the status of the vm tools is of course is not running because it's not the operating system is not running but in here it's really not running although the DC, DB, uh, DB server is running um, installing the, the tools it's simple on Windows server one more crucial about VMware tools uh, of course is the graphic the graphics um, to when you click inside the VM if the tools is not installed it's hard to get out the only thing you can do is you can see here on the bottom it say to release course or you need to press control alt so let me log in again okay once uh, <coughs> once you're logged in you can click on the BM and on the guest here you can say install upgrade the VMware tools and click OK what is really happening on the background is that on the C on the D drive or the or he created here as a Z drive it will create a Z drive like a, a CD-ROM and will try to trigger the, the installation right away and then it's like that and then it's like that and then click next okay it's hard typical and install and then it's like that say the acceleration is not 
it say there um, you click the advance and under the troubleshoot you make this one pull and then apply and then when you click finish here it will ask for reboot so I click uh, the reboot yes and it's rebooting right now as you can see after the reboot the VMware tools is now okay alright um, that the hardest part is uh, the Linux because in here you will play with RPM and uh, some multiple uh, re reboot so let's do it now um, I have to pause because we don't have so much time um, I think it's either the media or MNT when you um, select this one but let's see first the two okay there's nothing on MNT and media okay I think it's, it's media and then on CD-ROM it's supposed to be empty but after we do this it's supposed to exist something okay on the background I was um, of finding the solution on that one but the solution is to mount it so even though if I keep on uh, executing this one um, it's not there because you need to execute uh, to, to issue the, the mount media CD-ROM um, the next thing we will do is uh, we will do the RPM is to use the RPM command um, and then you need to go to TMP and issue this command um, I is to install B is variables and H I don't know I forgot <laughs> and then you have to test it first and make sure it's uh, it will install and it's installed um <laughs> if you will see that uh, this is 64 i just i just lie um it's just a 32 bit <laughs> if you will see i'm using i386 okay so let's arrow up and remove the test okay run again i mean remove the test now and it's doing the installation now okay it give us some kind of uh, if you want to remove it's by minus e but if you want to configure the first time it's usr bin uh, bin vmware dash config tools that pl that's the script okay it's like that then it's like that and it's like this it's asking me um, I just use the default what's the resolution you you need and then it will blink 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 oh they didn't see the blink and then it's like that um, if you check this one it's still not installed um, because you need to do reboot so um, of course if this is uh, an application uh, operating system you just not click reboot some of the application you need to, to stop it manually unless someone a, 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 a expert administrator put all the uh, stopping up application on the shutdown uh, lines or shut down script oh shit I just have 40, 60, 40 seconds left um, why I have 40 seconds left because I'm counting it is only 10 minutes in YouTube <laughs> it's only limited 10 minutes okay Beamer is still not running although it's starting it right now yoohoo it's now um, boot up and it's waiting for login and VMware tools is now okay so I can just click this one and it can remotely shut it down that I